This week, the new mini kit. So let me introduce this mini to you. It's a 1960 Mark I mini. And we've been building it in the background. We haven't shared this with you before because the car wasn't actually built here. It's got all of our parts in it. We've designed the um, electrification of it, but we've been trying to work out how do we ship a kit to a customer and get them to fit it. What's, what's easy, what's difficult, and how does that whole process work so that we can actually start supplying kits, at the moment specifically for minis, um, to, to customers for them, for them to fit. So let me walk you around it a little bit. Um, let me close the bonnet. So, there we go. It looks, well it's a real sleeper, right? It looks immaculate, but it looks like a very standard Mark 1 Mini. We've had an 8, 8, uh, 850cc engine in there. But, we've now put 160 horsepower in this thing. It's got 310 newton meters of torque through a, uh, I think it's a five to one reduction ratio. It's gonna go like a rocket ship. What I'm pretty sure of is we're gonna smoke the tires on this and those tires are not big enough, but we wanna keep the look. So using our um, smart technology on, on uh, drive modes, we'll be able to regulate that, give it silly mode and then just a normal mode and then something probably for the wet as well. Front wheel drive, not much weight on the front there. Um, it's got, I know you are not going to believe this, but it's got 44 kilowatt hour pack in this as well, which is astounding to put in a Mini. The big compromise is you get no boot space. So we have put quite a lot of battery in the back. I don't know what it's going to handle like. I can imagine it's going to be quite interesting because there's a lot of weight over the rear end. Uh, we have got adjustable suspension on the car, so we have raised the rear ride height to compensate for that. But again, um, I think I haven't weighed it yet. I only picked it up yesterday, so I haven't weighed it. Uh, we'll need to go through and, and weigh it up, see, see where the weight is on the car. I can imagine it's a bit tail heavy, but hey, um, it's going to be really interesting. <laughs> to be honest, it's going to be manic, absolutely manic. A um, few things to show you around the car. Obviously... Um, you have a quick look under the, under the bonnet there. Um, this, is, this is the way that we've designed it with four, four modules in the front here, BMS underneath, and then the reduction box that we've designed specifically for the Mini. Um, inverter up here on the top, master service disconnect, um, all of the electrics in there. I mean, it's a really tight package, right? So we had this, if you remember back to when we first looked at some of the Mini stuff, uh, we had this 3D scanned, and we've packaged this in really tightly. So there isn't there isn't a lot of scope for uh, for for putting extra things in here. Um, the wiring on the car was a bit of an experiment. We supplied wiring diagrams to the customer, and they've wired it up. Uh, we wouldn't let them do the high voltage wiring. We're gonna we're gonna do that, and that's what it's here for to get the high voltage wiring added, and then uh, bring it up to voltage and start calibrating it. So. Um, yeah, wiring at the moment looks uh, a little bit untidy. That's mainly because the customer's finished it but not confident about it, so he's left us access to everything to check it. We'll check that, put the high voltage in, and then off we go. So we had a lot of debate about where to put the charge port on the car. Clearly, you can put it on the fuel filler. Um, we decided on this car not to do that because the original cars had flip up number plates. So we thought we'd use that feature, and there it is, stuck away behind the number plate. Um, and then inside the boot here, don't be alarmed when I open it, because it is just full of battery. So in here, we have uh, 12 modules in the back here. So that's, that's quite a bit of weight, as I said, as I said earlier on. We've got the 12 volt battery up here on top of it. We've got the vacuum tank inside there with the vacuum pump in the original battery tray underneath. And here we've got the charger. 
and of course no room for the spare wheel so we have a get you home uh, tire inflator in there as well a um, few minor things unfortunately we had to take a little bit out of the battery to get the charge port to fit but you know um, that's that's development work right I think uh, next time we'll try and move this in a little bit further and uh, make that package better but yeah uh, it was quite interesting putting that into the boot of the car but it went in and it didn't damage anything so uh, we're, we're actually planning to do a uh, five module uh, pack in the rear here as well which will because I mean, th this will get you 250 miles maybe more in this mini you want to get out after that so we're going to offer uh, one that has nine modules in it good for around 100 miles and that's that's probably to be fair the optimum amount of, uh, of energy in the car. So here's the inside of the car. Uh, very, very standard mini. I mean, look, look at this. This is, this is the door pull for opening. It's squeaking, needs a bit of oil on that. Um, it's got sliding windows. How cool is that? Um, but Really, from our point of view of, of controlling the electrics, it's very much the same as what we've done in other cars. We'll end up turning it on, pushing the starter. The starter button's down here on the floor. That's really cool. Um, we're going to have a digital display in the car. We haven't quite agreed where we're going to put it. There was the talk about putting it here on the on the flat, uh, on the sun visor, or uh, maybe just around here somewhere. But try, try and keep it... For, um, as, as looking uh, as original as possible. It has got a modern speedo in there, which we will drive from the CAN system, along with using the fuel gauge to do uh, state of charge. And then over here, we've got the shifter, which is which is three momentary buttons, neutral, drive, reverse, with, with lights to show you which, which direction you're going. Um, so yeah, very simple but it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode.